Bitcoin will be harder than gold. And I think a lot of people can see that. And, uh, but, but more importantly, I think a lot of people would like to have it in their portfolio. Well, I, I know. And, and like I, I follow a, a couple of different schools of thought around this, including people that just think still it's rat poison and people who are 100 percent all in the Bitcoin maxis. You've come up with a pretty rational um, framework for for an allocation. I'll let you maybe share what that is. And, and obviously, this is an investment advice. But if if it was you, what would what would you do if you had, say, a, a 30 year investment uh, time frame ahead of you and you were trying to allocate? across all the asset classes that were appropriate for you, of course, but you wanted to include Bitcoin. How much Bitcoin would you include in your portfolio? First of all, I think that depends whether it's your portfolio, your own portfolio, or somebody else's portfolio. Um, so I think what I'll do, I'll speak to start with, with my lifetime career of an asset allocator's hat. Sure. Uh, about six or nine months ago, I on LinkedIn, I published what I thought was an ideal asset allocation for a multi-millionaire. In the asset allocation, we don't look at the things which are illiquid, like his home, his properties, his works of art, his heirlooms, the, the things he can't touch or, or won't touch, his private equity. 